vegetables! <laughs> you know, every time I see that vegan teacher, she's just more and more popular with YouTubers that have millions and millions of followers making videos on her. And normally, when a big YouTuber is harassed by anyone, they just ignore them. It's best for publicity. So my only guess here is that that vegan teacher is some sort of controlled opposition to get an extreme amount of views and maybe reel in 5-10% of the people that watch to actually follow the vegan diet. So we see on here that she is verified, which doesn't make sense because uh, I've been on YouTube for far longer than she has and I haven't been able to get verified. So yeah, you might be thinking, hey, she only has 130,000 followers, but if you search for that vegan teacher, just by month, you have these other YouTubers this one SSS Sniper Wolf has 30 million subscribers and the video on her got 4.4 million views. This one has 4.6 million views. She's getting probably dozens of millions of views from all of these other channels that are making videos about her. And when I had a popular YouTuber make a video on me, it was like shadow banned. Blair Walnuts has maybe hey, a million so subscribers. And when she did a video on me, I only got 200,000. I mean, yeah, and then you search by year and that same person with 30 million subscribers has given her <laughs> dozens of millions of views. So they definitely have some sort of connection where they're working together just to funnel as many viewers to her as possible. And if you guys are unfamiliar, uh, that vegan teacher was banned on TikTok several months ago and has migrated to YouTube. But the reason I'm making this video today is because I saw this and it was completely batshit crazy ridiculous. Comments turned off. Video titled, Are You Racist? Like and dislikes hidden. Let's take a look at what she says. Don't be racist. Don't discriminate against anyone. Don't be cruel to humans, animals, or the planet. Be vegan from now on. Look at this beautiful child. Beautiful eyes. Beautiful smile. Beautiful curly hair. Oh my god. Beautiful skin. Look how adorable she is. What do you think about the idea of banning cruelty, but not words? We know where this is going. Can you think of some words right now that are banned? <laughs> what are they? What are some of the words that you're never allowed to write? Oh, God. And how did we get this way in society? <laughs> is banning words a good idea? When does it end? If we say we can't say the N-word, but then people ban even saying the n-word then the n-word becomes the x n-word the n-word that used to be the other n-word and it never ends it just goes on and on and on what about other words the f-word the c-word the r-word the s-word when does it end when we start banning language is it a good idea, really? Or is it better to just reclaim words that have hurt us? Just not let them have any power. <laughs> Does this girl seem to oh like she God. might be naturally intelligent, gorgeous, <laughs> generous, exemplary, and radiant? This lady can write the N-word on a piece of paper and I get taken down on YouTube for, for talking shit about my business partner is fucking hysterical. Holy shit. How fucking ridiculous like is that? that to me. How fucking ridiculous is that? How crazy you have to be to do that shit? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god. Oh my god. Holy shit. I should get my Italian grandmother on here. <laughs> I was watching um I was watching like a comic skit like uh last week and the guy was like, "Alright, we should do a reality show where we get 10 Italian grandmothers over 85 years old and we put one black dude in the house. It's horrible, 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 horrible. The lady is clearly not 100%. She has this other very popular video titled, I Can't Breathe.
I am a cow being sent to slaughter. You've sealed your rope around my neck. I can't breathe. I am a pig thrown in this gas chamber, pleading for my freedom. I can't breathe. Do they gas pigs? I don't think that's correct. I am a chicken upside down. Your knife is sliced inside my windpipe. I can't breathe. You know, I never understood. I mean, I guess I do understand, you know, all these vegan people are given an agenda that they have to follow. And even if they are unknowingly pushing like the new world order diet agenda at first once they get more popular and into it they definitely understand exactly what they're doing you know despite there being very simple ways to debunk all the arguments for a vegan diet they just ignore them and keep peddling their nonsense but that's how it's going to be and uh, there's going to be constant dietary wars between people and who knows if anyone will actually find their health i guess that's what i'm trying to do yeah i mean it's very clear to me that you know, with the amount of views this person gets, the other people making videos on her, the intentional deplatforming of her off of TikTok. A lot of the times they do that as publicity stunts and uh, they, they want uh, more traffic on other websites. Yeah, th there's explanations behind everything. That's that. You know, it, it's unfortunate that nothing's legitimate anymore. And you know, that, that's part of the reason I don't really have that much fun. You know, when you look around and you understand that everything is fake, it's hard to really enjoy life. It, it's easier to just eat into it enjoy the drama, I think everything's real, but uh, everyone's putting on a show, uh, whether they know it or not. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you guys like this video. I just felt like talking about this because it's just insane seeing videos on her every single week with millions and millions of views made by other YouTubers. You know, if it was true, I mean, years ago, people would have been making videos about me as the crazy guy eating raw meat, but uh, that did not happen. So if you guys can go to frank com, you can support me through all of my businesses. We just launched the Best Burger Reviews channel. So if you search Best Burger Reviews, we have about five episodes out. We're going to have five more episodes next week and hopefully up to, you know, 150, 200 episodes towards the end of this year, early next year. So if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, frank com. support me through all my businesses. Thanks again for joining me today, guys, and I will see you for tomorrow's video. Make sure to check out the community page and leave a comment if you have a question that you would like to see in our Q&A this week.